what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today i got a review it's a little bit more of a love hate relationship it is a lawnmower it is a toro uh personal pace um recycler it does not have a side discharge it is either bag or recycle i believe the motor is a 163 cc engine so it's a little on the bigger side um i'll do a quick review and i've been using this mower now commercially for three months only on you know i say commercially but using it on my small residential lawns um, but yeah, let's get into the review guys and I'll tell you what I like and what I dislike. So here it is guys. It is the Toro Recycler. See, it's the auto drive. Personal pace. It's got the Vortex technology. It does actually suck pretty well, but like I said, it's got the, what is it? Briggs and Stratton GTS 163cc. If you want to recycle, you have this up. You want a bag, just push that, opens up the chute. Um, it does have a smart technology choke. Pretty much starts right first pull every time. Um, it is a love-hate relationship, and I'll explain more in the detail, but I'll show you it more in action. So this is going to be a little difficult here. We're going to... Uh, Attempt to start it holding the camera in. This will be the first pull. As you can see, first pull started right up. I have not warmed or used this in about two days. And like I said, I use it for my small, like residential stuff like this. Um, but I'll show you it more in action. So let me get it going.
all right guys so as you can see it does stripe nice but like i said it's a love hate if you look here it's supposed to mulch if you look at my striping it stripes nice but like stuff like this it leaves like and then if you look it's like it's almost missed it and i overlapped it so i've sent it i bought a tractor supply on sale but when you cut and you edge it like misses and leaves it longer it's almost like it's not cutting evenly and it's been driving me nuts i might try bagging it to be honest see if that helps but this has been acting like this since day one brought it back to track the supply they said there's nothing wrong with it they had it looked over if you have a Toro, let me know your experience. But, um, so I have to go over this. Like, I'll go down the, I don't want to mess up my striping because people like that. It looks good. But, yeah, for some reason, they like can see the line right here. Now, if I would have, I have to overlap it. And then it's still higher. I don't know why. But, I'm going to try bagging it. See if we can get a difference. All right, so I got the bagger. We're gonna try bagging it. So this is the finished product looks good stripes good bagging's the way to go from what i understand and what i can see cuts even sucks everything up um but yeah i mean it stripes good looks good i'll come back over here looks good all cleaned up dimensions of the yard good and it took me about 20 minutes so not bad all right guys so i'm back in the truck and i want to give you my final thoughts like i've what well, we're in june july 4th weekends coming up now so april may all of june so two and a half close to three months i've been using that toro like I said, it's a love-hate. Um, I definitely think there's a little bit of a flaw. The personal pace is amazing. Uh, it is rear-wheel drive. Um, I noticed the motor for some reason. I don't know if it has to do with their Vortec. They call it suction. It's supposed to suck better. and um, If it, that has anything to do with it. I mean, it does suck pretty good. Like grass and all that but as for a mulcher I'm not impressed with it uh, like I said I'm trying to cut even lines and line you know you guys know you want your nice stripes and um, I have to overlap a little more than what you normally do just so I it cuts and doesn't leave like a call it like a line a mohawk um, 
yeah, that stinks. But, you know, when you bag it, for some reason, I don't know if the tires, the way the tires are designed, and it pushes the grass down, and then when it settles, it pops up. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I'm, I'm overlapping a lot. Um, I even tried to sh sharpen my blades, and, uh, you know, that didn't do anything. I, you know, I sharpen my blades every, depends how much I use every week to two weeks. I use this on my small residential lawns, to, you know, where my big mower is going to be overkill. And, but, like I said, it's a love-hate. I wish, I don't know if Toro has any complaints about it or what, but it does leave a line and you gotta overlap it more and it kind of kills your striping. I'm not here to bash Toro. I'm not affiliated with them, just give my honest review. I love Toro products. I run their commercial, I don't even know if they're commercial, but you know, I plow and I have the 721E single stage snowblower and that thing is a beast. I love that thing, paddle. Uh, actually, I'm looking to get the one with the bigger motor. I think it's a 721E has the 208cc. And that thing is light. You can put it in the back of the truck, lift it. It's beautiful. Um, they got the bigger one. That's the 7, no, 821. And that thing is supposed to be a beast. I think it's a, a 252cc. I think it's like 100 pounds, 90-something pounds. I mean, even that for a guy like me, a decent-sized guy, I can lift that and clear the walkways and all that. It's just easier, you know. Um, but like I said, I think for what I pay, it was 440 I got it on sale for 400 at my local truck to supply. Customer complaint said, is there something wrong with your mower? Uh, this is when I first started out uh, on his lawn. He's a new customer as well. Like I said, it looked like it, it's like what happened is the tires or something is pushing down on the grass. And then after you mow it, it springs back up. So you, so you got the cut grass, but on the edges where the tires are in the, you know, what do you call it? Um, the body, it leaves a line and you have to go over it more than once. So it's... So I noticed with the bagger, I didn't have to do that. Uh, so I want to try that out today. I should have tried it out, you know, beforehand. Um, but, you know, I, I charge more to bag. So today you got it for free. Um, I might just tell him it's going to be an extra 10 bucks and see what he says. Does it look better? Absolutely. You bag anything, it looks great. But I wanted to use it to, you know, maintain it and... If you got mulching blades, you shouldn't have to, but for some reason, this MOA does not like to mulch that good. Love the personal pace. Also, when the motor, it says it's a 163cc. You know, it, some lawn, not even that thick of grass, I noticed it bogs down. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I've had smaller cc engines that didn't bog but for some reason this bogs it's also one of those uh no oil change add oil don't know how i feel about it haven't done an oil change in it i've added oil i do think that i am going to because there's no drain plug but you can do an oil change you can actually lift it and on its side and empty the oil which i do think i'm going to do that uh some people don't recommend i do engine flushes you know, it's still a fairly new motor uh, motor and mower, obviously. Two and a half, three months old. Um, I do like engine flushes. Um, some people don't. I use the engine tech, whatever it is. And it does. It eats all the gunk out. It really eats all that oil. So I think I'll have, I'm going to post a video of doing an oil change with that mower, which will be a pain in the butt. Because you're going to tip it on its side, then actually lift it. I do have a big oil, um, I don't know what, I can't even talk here, catcher or oil pan big enough that I can tip it on its side and lift it. So it won't be such bad. But if you got a small one, it's going to be a pain. Um, it only holds, I think, what, a quart of oil. So it's not much. 
but I do think I'm going to drain a little bit, half quart, put some engine flush in it, run it for five minutes, just to keep the engine clean. You know, I'm a believer in new oil and maintaining it, but they say these new Briggs and Strattons don't just add oil and go. The wear and tear, they've done research. I don't know. I don't know how, how, how good it's going to go. I personally just wish it wasn't that type of engine, but most of your Toros now and lawnmowers are like that, and I'm old school. I want to do an oil change. Um, but again, you know, for residential mowing and these lawns that take me 15, 20 minutes in and out, it's great. It really is. I mean, it's a quick 50 bucks. You do 10 of those a day, you know, quick money. Um, I've been doing this now for a while and I love it. I love it. I do have, I got a 32 inch Bobcat and I got a 48 inch, both walk behinds. Those have the big Kawasaki motors. I want to get off subject, but Toro, if you see this, uh, yeah, um, you might want to look into the engineering of that Toro uh, personal pace recycler with the Vortec air, rim air, whatever you call it, because um, it's leaving strips, lines. I will say, it stripes good, as you guys can see. It does stripe good, but only, who wants to cut a lawn at the look at it and then be like, oh, look, I got to go back over it, and then it ruins your striping. So if you plan on bagging, great, which I think I'm going to have to start doing. Uh, I probably sell it ch cheap, get rid of it at the end of the year. Um, like I said, it's not here to bash Toro. I like Toro products. Um, I like the Toro Pro-Line mowers. I had years of experience using those growing up, working for landscapers, and they're great mowers. Um, I don't know. What do you guys recommend for some for a small yard that I, I do wish I had a side shoot. That's a down flaw for me, and it doesn't have the inlet, outlet to wash, so I, I have to flip it and scrape it and pressure wash it. That stinks, too. Um, personal pace is great. I do notice, though, because it, it's rear-wheel drive, it's it's great for hills. Um, it's a pain when you're going to turn it, though. Because it kind of lifts in the air when it takes off. So you might have to pull it back real quick to cut the grass. Engine, uh, it bogs down. I, I got to admit, I've seen other videos and it does bog down. And it's not even, you're not even mowing maybe three inch grass. And sometimes it bogs. That I don't understand. But I'm hoping after I do an oil change and engine flush, you know, it's all broken in and gain some power i don't know air filter perfect love it love the design quick um i've changed it once it's you know i keep cleaning it and all that but i have changed it once very very like i said reliable first pull every time when i started that that was the first pull i haven't used it all today um i've got about five more lawns so yeah guys Give me a thumbs up. Hit me with a like. Um, subscribe. Um, I enjoy doing these videos. And like I said, if there's something that you want to see, a product or a review, let me know. Leave a comment. I'll test it out. I'll see what I can do. Uh, I do am slacking with posting videos on the regular, like I always say I'm going to do. I'm trying. It's busy. Busy season. I was thinking about doing a lawn care channel let me guys know if you think that's a good idea a separate channel just for lawn care for you gentlemen and ladies there are ladies that like that stuff of uh, you know products and all that this is you know vlogging product reviews stuff like that and packaging and unboxing i still got updates i gotta do on those samsung galaxy earbuds <laughs> so anyways guys i want to get off topic tour recycler love hate relationship if you got one tell me your experience leave a comment greatly appreciate it guys you know i'm dodge and i'm out